here's a course that I got in for review that I would really like to fix. First of all, let me show you my objections to the course. In the beginning, we have kind of a technical sequence working, and I see these big transitional distances that are very un-TDA-like. Uh, they are more ungainly than challenging. I note, too, if we follow the dog's path, see the great big spaces here? The proximity of the column to the handler's path uh, when doing the shoot at number 13. Also, there's some possibility that the dog could fold the fabric of the chute over, and then really this gets messy right here. Here's an interesting bit. I see a nearly impossible blind approach and kind of a Scylla and Charybdis moment to the pipe tunnel at number 14. I wonder how the handler is supposed to get this accomplished. And then we get to the table. I would prefer the table near the middle of the sequence. It's more of an anticlimax when so close to the end. But speaking of anticlimaxes, here we have a course ending in a, frankly, boring and uneventful line to get the dog out of the ring. To fix this course, I'm going to play a game of what do you make of this. Here I've thrown away the number, the start and finish lines. I don't want to throw away the baby with the bathwater, so I don't want to move very much equipment, but almost certainly I'm going to have to move a little bit of equipment because otherwise it would be trapped by the long lines of this course. What would be an interesting course? Let's say, for example, I wanted to start like this. I'm going to start in the pipe tunnel, do the teeter, and head out to this jump. Now I want to go back towards the dog walk. So just for a moment, let's move this jump oops, down here. And now I can continue my line and head down for the dog walk. That works for me. Into the pipe tunnel, that's logical. Now I'm going to fix the problem with the collapse chute. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put the barrel right against that column so I really have no problem of the column being in the handler's path. And also the rigid aperture of the chute solves the problem of the fabric folding over into the column. Now I'm going to take the, take the course now and go back up towards the table. I'm going to give this a little rotation to give it an approach from the chute. Now I continue my line. And I'm going to go in the chute and up to the table. Now, I do have to get out of the ring, and I don't really want to be trapped by this line going down to the tire. I don't have a high enough obstacle count in any case. So now it's time for me to do a little bit of equipment movement. I'll tell you what, though. I'd like to take this tunnel, and rather than starting the course with it, which can, can be kind of boring, I'm going to take the tunnel, and I'm going to put it over here. Let me steal one of these jumps right here. Let's move the weave pulls out of the way for a moment, and we'll start the course with this jump. All right, so that's not terrible movement, and I'm going to put the tire down here. I've got a vision here for what I'm going to do. Okay, so what surely I would like to do, going out of the ring, is do something interesting coming off the table and ending the course. We go back over the two jumps to the A-frame, I will do this jump. I might even give them a bi-directional tunnel, but the side that makes most sense is in the right side. Back over the jump, into the weave poles, and out of the course. Now that is an interesting finish. So here is our newly renumbered course. It's nice and flowing without any really arduous moments in it at all. I'll show you the dog's path just so you can see it. Connect to numbers. That's a nice little course.